Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. I picked up some more vintage Hot Wheels uh, from my local Craigslist. I got these from the same guy that I bought the other vintage Hot Wheels from. Uh, there's 13 cars here to show you tonight, and so yeah, I want to show you th these cars. They're really nice, and uh, definitely want to show these to you. So let's get started. First car is the Royal Flash <clears throat> number 2501. Uh, the copyright is 1981 and the car was made in Malaysia. And there it is, the Royal Flash. I've always liked this car. This car is actually pretty fast on the track. It really is. Metal body, bright metal chassis, you know, your classic black walls, uh, blue window material. That was made in Hong Kong, the blue window. Even though the car was made in Malaysia, whenever you see that blue plastic window or blue plastic, that was usually made in Hong Kong. Okay, anyway, there it is, the Royal Flash. The next car is the Turbo Heater, number 9524. Um, the copyright on the back of the package is 1982, and this car was made in Malaysia. All right. So, there's that car. I love that metallic blue paint. It looks really nice. Metal body, metal chassis, classic black walls. Very nice. I like it. Very nice looking car. Yeah. Very nice car. The Turbo Heater. Alright, the next car is the Chevy Citation number 1693. Um, the copyright on the back of the package is 1981 and this car was made in Hong Kong. Okay, made in Hong Kong. There's that car there. Yeah, metal body, metal chassis, Okay, I like the, the red interior, clear windows. Now, the, this has the Hot Ones wheels. These were special wheels. They had a thinner axle, smaller diameter axle, and specially designed wheels to make these cars uh, some of the fastest Hot Wheels ever. So whenever you see a Hot Wheels with these fast ones, I think they're called fast ones, these wheels, that type of wheels right there, yeah, these are very fast Hot Wheels on the track. The Hot Ones. Yeah. Very nice car. I'll show the bag of the package. Yeah. I'll show the bag of the package. Yeah. All right, the next car is the Omni... 024, it is number 1692. Um, the copyright on the back of the package is 1979-1980. Made in Hong Kong. Um, and it's that car there. I think it's real nice looking. Of course, the blue plastic was made in Hong Kong. Got metal body. I'm 
pretty sure the base is also metal. It's painted metal. Classic black walls. Okay, really nice car. I really like this car. Really like it. It's real nice. Yep, I'll show the bag of package too. All right, now it's time for a quick commercial, and I'll be right back. All right, the next Hot Wheel is a split window 63 Corvette. It's one of the high rakers. It's number 4354. Um... The copyright on the back of the package is 1982, and the car was made in Malaysia. And it's that car right there, the High Rakers. It's a High Rakers car. You can actually move the rear wheels um, up and down. It has like a ratchet type uh, mechanism. But there's, there it is. Metal body. Uh, metal chassis, classic, uh, I think these are gold chromed, uh, but they're classic black walls, but they're gold chromed. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. And there is the back of the packaging. All right, next up, this is one of my all-time favorite Hot Wheels. The um, 80s Corvette, number 3923. And, okay, the copyright year on the back of the package is 1982. And this car was made in Hong Kong. I just love the way this car looks like you can see the luggage in the back through the window there and the hood it raises up like this it's really cool the way that hood raises up and there's a detail I think a motor underneath it's got the hot ones wheels especially specially designed wheels to make this one of the fastest hot wheels cars ever metal uh, body metal hood painted metal chassis. I mean, it's just a real nice car. It really is. Really a nice car. I've always loved this 80s Corvette. It's really cool looking. Really a nice car. There's the bag of the package. Okay. All right, up next is the 57 T-Bird. It's number 3993. 3993 is a number. Uh, the copyright on the back of the package is 1986. And this car was made in Hong Kong. And there it is, boys and ghouls. Metal body, metal chassis, real nice heavy metal chassis. Classic black walls. Uh, the wheels in the rear are a little bit uh, larger than the ones in the front. So he's got that natural rake going on with the car. Nice looking car. I like the stripes on the top. It's nice looking. Now, some of these cars have um, a round window right there. They're called porthole T-Birds. And that's a rare variation of these cars. Not many of those were made, the porthole T-Birds. But, yeah, they do exist. They're very hard to find, so if you ever find one of those, that's a rare Hot Wheel. Oh, let me show you the back of the, the package, in case you want to look at that. And it does have the blue, the blue windows, which, of course, were made in Hong Kong. All right, the next car is one of my favorite Hot Wheels of all time. And these cars roll really good down the track. And that's the Corvette Stingray, number 9241. 
okay? The copyright on the back of the package is 1981, and this car was made in Hong Kong. There it is, boys and girls, boys and ghouls. The Corvette Stingray. I think this is a 1970 Stingray. The Corvette Stingray with the Hot Ones wheels. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This, these are very fast cars. These Corvettes, they're very fast cars. And look at how heavy that bottom of the chassis is. The way that chassis is made. It's very nicely detailed. Dual exhaust, dual mufflers. It's just a really nice Hot Wheels car. It's just so damn nice. Look at that. Original price tag. Buy Mart price tag. I don't know if you can, how well you can read that. But, yeah. Very nice car. Bag of the packaging. Alright, now it's time for another quick commercial. And uh, I'll be right back afterwards. Alright, the next car... It looks very simil similar, similar to the Royal Flash, and it's often mistaken for the Royal Flash. And that's the upfront 924. Um, it's number 2500, you know, 2500. And the copyright on the back of the package is 1981, and this car was made in Hong Kong. And it's that car right there. Metal body, nice metal chassis, classic black walls. But you can see how it looks very similar to the Royal Flash. Very similar looking uh, model. Yeah, very similar looking. And there is the back of the package, right there. <clears throat> All right, next up, we've got a blown Camaro Z28. It's number 5901. Pretty cool looking casting. Copyright on the back of the package is 1983, and this car was made in Malaysia. And there it is, boys and ghouls. It has the Hot Ones wheels, making this one of the fastest Hot Wheels cars ever. Metal body, nice metal chassis, oh yeah, nicely detailed, very nice car. Very nice car. I really like this car. There's the back of the packaging. All right, next up is one of the original um, Ultra Hots. It is the Jet Sweep X5, number 7528. This is one of the original Ultra Hots. Uh, the copyright on the back of the packaging is 1983, and this car was made in Malaysia. And there it is, people. And this is, I believe, the, the first issue of this model. You can tell because it has the black plastic, and the later issue has like more of an amber-looking plastic spoiler, and the the window, the canopy window right there. Um, but yeah, this has like a, uh, like a, I'd say like a yellow Spectra Flame paint job, you know? But yeah, this is one of the original uh, Ultra Hots. Yeah. And there is the back of the packaging right there. All right, next up 
is the uh, Thunderbird Stalker. It's number 5900. And the copyright on the back of the package is 1983. And this car was made in Malaysia. Um, it has the Ultra Hots wheels, making this one of the fastest Hot Wheels cars ever. Metal body, nice metal chassis, very nice car, nicely detailed tampo. Yeah, very nice car. Now, Mattel Toy Company did not make many stock cars because of all the tampo that's involved. You know, so you can see why they... they usually stayed clear. They stayed away from producing these stock cars because of all that tample that's required as part of the paint job. You know, that's a lot of, a lot of work there. So, yeah. Not many stock cars were made, especially during this time period, the 80s. But yeah, that's a nice car. Metal body, metal chassis. Very nice car. And there's the back of the package. Yeah. And the last car that I'm showing today, it, it's a very nice car, is the Turismo. It's number 1694. And the copyright on the back of the packaging is 1981. And uh, this car was made in Hong Kong. So, yeah. That is a very nice looking car. Very nice looking car. The tampo on it was really nicely done. Very nicely done. It's got the classic black walls. It's got a metal body. Metal chassis. It's just a real nice looking Hot Wheels car. It really is. Mattel just doesn't make Hot Wheels like this anymore. They haven't in over 25 years. I mean, today's Hot Wheels, I'd say at least 90% of all Hot Wheels uh, being sold today, they're garbage. They're absolute garbage. Even a lot of the treasure hunts and super treasure hunts are garbage. They're not worth buying. And only stupid people buy them. Only stupid people waste their money on most of today's Hot Wheels. They're, they're garbage. They're just crap. Yeah. I much rather really go on eBay or on Craigslist or whatever or a local toy show or whatever, spend a little bit more money and get the older, nicely made, you know, much higher quality Hot Wheels like this. The blue plastic windows, that's Hong Kong. Even though the car was made in Malaysia, I think it was made in Malaysia, right? No, it's Hong Kong. It's made in Hong Kong, this car. So, yeah, back the packaging, there's the car once again. So, yeah, I like this car. It's one of my favorites. It's a nice car. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.